Today's biology, or it is more like zoology game that I play, is the house bugs finder. What I will do, I will get familiar with uh, some of the critters, bugs and arthropods that can be found in apartments and houses in the in the temperate climate zone. I have to make that <laughs> that clarification. And so I have a house. It is made in the Sims 4 game. And in this house there are lurking some creatures that I have to find. The first one is given me with a hint. So I will just press it and there is a house spider. Now there are a lot of types of spiders that can be found in houses and apartments. If the apartment or the house is in the village, there are some bigger spiders, but the house spiders can be found in any corner of a house, either wet or arid. They hunt other house bugs, including roaches and mosquitoes, and are not dangerous to humans. So, except that they are a little spooky, and they are not very aesthetic for the house making these webs, it is actually good to have house spiders in the house. Now I will have to find the other bugs and my hint is that my hand will turn from pointer to hand if there is something hidden there. And here we have, what is that, the centipedes. Centipedes like arid environment. They, they live between concrete pan panels and bricks. They hunt other bugs, including roaches. They are not dangerous to humans and usually run and hide. But if touched, they may release weak venom that needs to be washed out before touching food. They look pretty scary. Indeed, with these uh, big legs and long legs, uh, they are fast if they are found somewhere. They usually run and hide. Uh, also, they are predators and hunt other creatures. Okay, well, let's see what is that near the lamp. Ah, the moth. Again, there are many types of moths. This is the house moth. Uh, moths are attracted to light. They hide in clothing, furniture or home goods. Though told they are not dangerous to humans, they can damage clothes and goods. Oh, this is the moth. But if there are spiders around, they hunt moths too. Okay, now I will go a little to the kitchen to see uh, there is something here and this is <laughs> a fly okay flies now I can see that flies are in orange circle while the upper animals are in the white uh, the yellow sorry circle so this is the more dangerous creatures the common housefly is more annoying than dangerous, but yet flies can carry diseases and are held hazard if left untreated. Then they make they can make a house their home, but if they but if they find suitable place to hatch. So in general they don't live in the house, they just fly inside from opened windows and other cracks. Okay, I have one fly. Now there is something else here near the window. And that is the stink bug. It is yellow, so it is not dangerous. Stink bugs generally live in and breed outdoors, but when the temperatures get cooler, they often sneak indoors to hibernate. They are herbivore. That means they eat grass. So they don't buy human or hunt other creatures. 
Stink bugs aren't known to bite humans or damage property, but caution should be used when handling them to avoid a release of their unpleasant odor. So they stink. <laughs> but uh, the interesting thing is uh, that the last few times that I throw away stink bugs, they didn't stink actually. But I remember times when they did. Right, what else I have in the kitchen? Hmm? Here we go with the millipedes. Now, the difference between the centipedes and millipedes, I looked in the previous video. So, the millipedes like, like moist environment. They live between concrete panels and are, car and are scavengers. So, this is one of the primary difference between centipedes and millipedes. The millipedes are scavengers, while the centipedes are predators. Mm. Though they are not dangerous to human when treated, when threatened, they stink and have some venom that need to be washed out before touching foods, like the uh, centipedes. But not all of them. I think the, the ordinary millipede uh, doesn't have venom. So, but uh, yet I doubt someone uh, will want to touch and catch this thing, except it is uh, some sort of scientist and want to make experiments, right? Okay, so I continue. There are a lot more things to find here. Okay, nothing near the trash. And that window, well, this is the actually the most dangerous creature that can enter your home. It is small, but the mosquitoes are dangerous to humans. They bite, suck blood, suck, suck blood and transmit diseases. Mosquitoes like wet and moist environment and appear near rivers. They do not live in the house, but rather enter inside through windows and open doors. And again, Maybe it should be good, well, again, not uh, for the aesthetic point of view, but to have a web near windows so the spiders can hunt incoming mosquitoes. <laughs> All right. Okay, what else do I have in the kitchen? Uh, there are a lot of things here. Of course, the ants. <coughs> Ants may invade houses in search for food. They especially like sugar and other sweets left outside, making traveling paths to the food source. They aren't directly harmful to people, but if left to run around, ants can destroy structures, spread bacteria, and in extreme cases, cause serious allergic reactions. So, in general, the ants are just a menace. Okay, and uh, what I have here, does this a cup of fruits, if I click it, sometimes there are fruit flies. <laughs> okay, fruit flies, fruit flies usually live around rotting fruits and multiply rapidly. They do not bite, but like any fly, they can carry all sorts of bacteria and transfer it just about everywhere they go. The thing is that they usually don't go too far from the rotting fruit source. Either it is on the balcony or in the garden. Okay, so I move to the right. And here I have a pet. Let's see what is there around the pet. There are flies, uh, fleas, flares. Flares usually get in the house with domestic animals and pets. These pests may be small, but they jump around and bite, especially in warmer months. They are parasites sucking blood and are dangerous to humans and pets. So, it is needed to get rid of the red creatures, right? And you don't need to get rid from the yellow ones. Well, not if you can 
stand them. Okay. Now, I'm in the living room and there is something lurking in the bed. What is that? Ah, this is something red. And these are bed bugs. Bed bugs are dangerous to humans. They bite and infest. They like to be near their prey, thus making colonies in mattress and edges. In mattress edges. So actually, their prey are the humans. If uh, there are bed bugs, uh, the things are serious, so it needs to be dealt with. Of course, this game is not for the methods or the ways to get rid of uh, these bugs. There are a lot of articles in the web to check how to do that. Okay, so there is something on the table. Let's see what is that. And this is the Ensign Wasp. I was, I was very amazed and uh, curious about these creatures when I saw them for the first time and it wasn't when I was very small or I don't remember that I haven't been very small and what is interesting for them and sin wasp are small ant like creatures with rapid moving antennas. They usually appear where roaches exist and they destroy roach eggs and sin wasps are not dangerous to humans. And so, if you see that thing, it usually means that there are roaches somewhere hidden in the house. And let's see, where is she going? Down here, and there is the first roach. Ah, I knew there are roaches there. Brown roaches. Like any cockroach, brown roaches are dangerous to humans, and thus they may transmit diseases. They are smaller and are active either during night and day. Also, brown roaches are braver than their big black brothers and may not run from humans unless closely approached. Of course, there are a lot of type of roaches, but this too, now I will look in the bathroom to find the black roach. Again, cockroaches are maybe the most disgusting bugs in the house. They do not bite, but may transmit diseases. They prefer wet environment and lurk in channels and any small water leaks. They are scavengers and cannibals. Wow! Uh, so the roaches may eat each other. Interesting. The big black roaches are active during night and usually run and hide from humans. So these are bigger than the brown roaches. Okay, I need to find two more books. Let's see what else do I have in the bathroom. Ah, something in the sink. There we go. The drain flies. Drain flies live within the depths of the sticky, gunky drains. They feed on and lay eggs in the clogged drains. Toad drain flies consume and live in sewage and bacteria. They are not disease carrying insects, but in great masses they can carry the bacteria with them. And if you unplug uh, the sink, they will disappear. Also, if you get rid of the rotten fruits, but this is close to mind. And finally, there is one more. Well, not just one, but in this game, they are pretty more. And this is the silverfish. Very strange creature. It is very rarely observed. They don't infest or something like that. Actually, they make clean things. Okay, silver fishes inhabit moist areas. In ur urban areas, they can be found in attics, basements, bathtubs, sinks, kitchens, old books and showers. Told they are not dangerous to humans, they can damage clocks, tapestries and carpets. 
and I found them all. They are there. This is insane. If uh, if one lives with all these things, but of course this is just a game. And this is the knowledge knowledge for today. And thanks for watching.